In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to take a character and have him chop a piece of wood. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just pause this and I'll create a new file. I'll go to File, New. And I'm just going to choose 1280 by 720 and 24 frames per second. I'll hit OK. So the first layer is going to be the background. So I'll just call this BG. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush. Uh, I've got a dark brown color selected here. And I'm just going to draw in an ellipse. OK, and then I'll just um, I go to my um, color chooser here. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter in the color here. I'll take my uh, flood fill, fill that in. And then maybe I'll go a little bit lighter than that and fill that in at the top. OK, so there's our stump in the ground. I'm now going to choose a green color and just put in some little strands of grass on either side. OK, and that's our background. OK, so I'm going to go from frame 1 to maybe frame 60. And I'll insert a frame here on 60. All right, now I'm going to lock that layer create a new layer and I'm going to call this log. All right, so I'm going to go back to the brown color. I'll hit Command plus to zoom in here. And I'm going to draw in a second piece of wood. Let's see, maybe just draw in a, another ellipse right here. And then once again, I'll choose my color here. I'll go lighter and fill that. Fill that at the top, OK? All right, so I'm going to lock that layer. And I'll create one more layer. And this is going to be my person. And let's see, I'll change the color. And I'm just going to draw in a stick figure right here, OK? I'm going to actually take all of this stuff. I'm going to unlock everything and move it all down a little bit. Take this character, scale him up a little bit. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to lock the background and lock the log layer. And on the person layer here, I'm going to put in one arm here. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to lock the character layer, go to the log layer. I'm going to scale that down a little bit. I'll lock that layer, unlock the person again. OK, so now I've got this character in a neutral pose. And I kind of want to change it so he'll kind of be leaning back. And when he's here, he'll be leaning forward a little bit. So I'm going to just lasso the whole character here from the waist kind of up. So this will allow us to have some contrast as he swings the axe back, OK? So that's our first pose. So now we'll do our second key pose. So I'm not going to go forward one frame at a time uh, with each new drawing. I'm going to do only the most important drawings, the key poses that are going to tell the entire story in just a few different drawings. All right, so I'm going to go to frame two, press F6. And right here, I'm going to lasso, torso, and the axe. And I'm going to rotate the character back. OK, so I'm going to actually bring him forward here. And then lasso the legs. And I'm going to kind of see how far I can push this. So 
I want to see my previous drawing, so I'll turn on my onion skin, and now I can see the two. So here we can kind of see the contrast between the two poses. All right, so now we have to move the arms. So let's lasso that, and let's bring the arms. I'll pivot from kind of where the shoulder is here, and I'll bring the ax to the other side. All right, so I'll switch to my eraser here, and I'll erase the arms over here, and then bring that line forward, okay? All right, so let's take a look at what we have. I'm going to just hit Command minus, and you can see right here we've got the whole body is moving, not just the arms. We've got the whole body moving here, okay? So now as we swing back, we're then just going to go right back forward again, right? Because it's going to chop the log. So I'll copy frame one here. Let me increase the size of these frames. I'll copy the pose here. I'll go to copy, and then I'll go to frame three and paste. Okay. Now the difference here is that um, the axe actually needs to be further down because he's going to cut through this wood. So I'm going to lasso arms and the axe. Take my transform tool. I'm going to kind of rotate from the blade here. I'll rotate this up and push it down into the wood here. All right. What I want to do is I want to actually exaggerate this. So if we go back here and we see right here, a person might not be bending this far back or bringing the ax that far back when they're chopping wood. But because it's animation, we want to try and push that pose and exaggerate. So we're going to do the same thing when he comes down and chops the wood here. I'm actually going to have the character up in the air. Okay, So I'm going to exaggerate this pose. So I'm going to get rid of these legs. And I'm going to bring the character way up here. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to bring him, kind of make it crazy. Like really push it. So first pose. Starting here, swings back, and then when he comes down, he comes down really hard, okay? So then he's got to come back down onto the ground. Here on frame four, I'm going to press F6. We're going to leave the ax where it is. We're going to have him. I'll rotate him and bring him down towards the ground. Okay, so starting here, goes back, chops, and then comes down. And then the last thing we'll have him do is stand back up. So I'll hit F6, turn on my onion skin, and I want to see where he was when he first started. Once again, I'm going to remove the legs. So here we have the complete action in just a few drawings. So there's no timing in this. This is just the key poses as we go forward. So now I'm going to add in the timing. We've got just these poses. Now let's put some space in between them and kind of feel out how much time do we need for the complete action? So I'm on frame one. I'm going to press F5 and put some space in between these first two key poses. Okay, so you can feel right there. There's space here, and then everything's really rapid. So then we'll go to the second pose, and then I'll press F5 and put some space there. And then the third pose right here, put some space in there. And then the fourth, put some space there. Okay. So now, now that we've spaced out those drawings, I'll press return 
We'll watch the action again. And we can kind of get a sense of what's happening, right? So as he comes back here, we want to have space for him to just be at the starting position. Then he's going to come back. And then he come, he's going to pause there. And then he's going to come forward. Okay. And then, and then he's going to go up in the air and then come down. And then right here between this here and here, we might uh, just have less space. Okay. So how do we start to move this? Okay. Um, the first few frames here, I'm going to leave. I want to leave those alone. So I'm going to take the whole timeline here and click and drag and move, drag this over. Okay. So here we can copy this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it on frame one. Okay. So it's just nothing happening there. Okay. Starting on frame nine. Okay. So I'm going to go to frame 11 and insert a keyframe. Okay. And here I'm going to slow out of this first pose. Okay. So I'll select the character here. And I'm just going to move my pivot point to where the hips are. And I'm just going to rotate the character up a tiny bit. We're going to slow out right here. All right. So we're going from here to here. Just a tiny bit of movement. And then The next thing will be this pose right here. So we're actually going to exaggerate the speed at which the axe moves back. So let's take this and push it back. Okay, so slow out and then all of a sudden it's way back here. So from here, I'm going to press on frame 15. I'm going to press F6. So we'll gradually slow the character down at this point here. All right, so rotate back some more and then I'll press I'll go to frame 17 press F6 and I'll rotate back even more and maybe 19 go one more time Just a tiny bit, okay? So here we have we have the character. We've got a pause here, and then we just slow out of that first drawing, and then all of a sudden we're way back here, and then we slow into that second pose right there, okay? So now what we want to do is right here, as he anticipates the chop, we don't want to have him go back forward right away. I'm going to have a pause there, and then we'll just leave this space in here as he's winding up, and then we'll come back down. Okay, so boom, right here, he comes back down. Okay, so then what I want to do is, as the axe comes down, it's going to lock right here, and then I'm going to have him, from the force of this swing, he's going to continue to move forward even though the axe stops. So we're going to have some follow through there. So I'm going to go to frame 35, press F6. Or actually, let's lasso everything but the hands. Okay, and then I'm going to move the character up. Kind of push that as far as I can, you know. All right, and then I'll go to frame 37. I'll press F6 to put in a new keyframe. And here, I'm going to go forward just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to slow into the final position here. So I'll just go forward a tiny bit, not too much. So we got a big movement from here to here, and then a little bit right there. And then we'll just come back. So I'll copy frame 35, and I'll go to frame 39 and I'll paste. So we're coming back down. So that means we're going to copy frame 33 and put it at 41. So we go up and then then we're going to come down. Okay. So in between see 
41 and 44. So we need to move this to 45. I'm going to put in a new keyframe here at 43. So insert keyframe. And then here, we're going to let go of the axe. And he's going to start to come down here. So let's lasso right here and delete those hands. Let's go forward and let's maybe lasso this section right here and hit Command C. To copy that, I'll go back to here and I'll go to Edit, Paste in Place. Okay. So we want to bring the character down right here. All right, so I'm going to rotate, start to bring the body down. Okay, and I'm going to turn on my onion skin so I can kind of see where we're going to end up. So I'm too far back right here. So I'm going to take the character, move over. Okay, and then. I want to erase the legs. Boom. Arms down. Okay. So land, we want to slow in to this pose right here. So we've got a pose there. We'll add in another pose, F6, and we will erase the legs. We'll bring the character down a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to turn on my onion skin so I can see the previous pose and bring those knees up. Coming down. All right, now we can copy this, come back up. Uh, let's see, we'll paste. I'm going to move these over. And then I definitely want to move this over. So coming down, then coming back up, and then we right here. Uh, let's copy this last frame here. We'll go to copy and we'll go back one frame and paste. And then what we want to do is bring the arms up a little bit in their rotation. So comes down, lands, slow in, slow out, and then slow into that final position right there. Okay, so let's look at the whole thing. Okay, so when he lands and we go in here, we can have him pause for a moment there. So let's take these last three frames here, move forward a little bit, have a little bit of a pause there when he lands. And then let's get rid of, let's stop at frame 70 here. Okay, so now let's, for effect, so we really feel the motion right here. Uh, I'm going to go in and right here on frame 13. I'm going to draw in like a motion blur. Okay, so let's go to this layer right here. OK, 
Okay, so as he pulls back, we got a motion blur right there. And then that blur is going to go away. And then when he comes forward again, we've got a big fast motion. So we'll put in another one right there. So let me bring my onion skin so I can see the previous one. Okay. So we have a motion blur going back and then a big one going forward. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So I'm not, I don't really like the second one here, so let me redraw that one. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I think, I, I think I'm satisfied with that. And then his pause, maybe I might move this over. One, two. Have less of a pause as he lands. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now what we need to do is work on the log. Okay, so we've got the character animated here. And now we just need to get that log to split. So I'm going to lock the person, and I'm going to unlock the log. And let's move forward here to 33. So I'm going to insert a blank keyframe here. And now we want to split the wood. Okay, so I'm going to go back to frame 1, and I want to sample the color. And I'll go back to 33 here, and... I'll draw the log. I'm going to draw this thing already flying through the air. Okay. Okay. And then let's go back to frame one again and we'll grab the color here. We'll go back to 33, fill that in. And we'll go back to frame one and we'll grab the color on top. So I'll take my eyedropper, go back to 33, and we'll fill that in. Cool. All right. So we're going from here to here. Split. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go forward. I'm going to add additional frames. And I'm just going to go forward and make go forward one frame at a time. So before I did a bunch of frames post to pose, you know, some of the key poses. And now I'm just going to go straight ahead one drawing at a time. All right, so I'm going to go to frame 34. And I'm going to do this on ones rather than on twos because I want to move faster, okay? So I'm going to hit F6. I'll lasso this, move it over rotate it. I'll do the same thing over here. Move it over. Rotate. Okay, so we're going from there to there. Okay, I'll go to frame 35, press F6. Lasso, rotate, move. Lasso, rotate, move. Okay. I'm going to move the pivot point to this corner, rotate this, move the pivot point to this corner, rotate that one. I'll go to frame 40, press F6, same thing. I'm going to make sure the pivot point's in the right location, move it forward. And then over here, I'm going to just nudge this over. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that over a little bit. Maybe nudge this over a little bit. And then I'll put in one more keyframe. And again, nudge it just a little bit on both sides. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to play the animation. Cool. I think it looks good. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week with a new video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, one way that you can support me is by watching some of my short animated films. Most of them are under one minute long. If you like one of the films, please share it on social media, on Facebook or Twitter. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.